वेलकम सो आई एम स्टार्टिंग अ न्यू सीरीज दैट इज ऑन बुक्स रिकमेंडेशन ऑन डिफरेंट सब्जेक्ट्स सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट ऑन टू बुक्स ऑफ द ऑपरेशंस मैनेजमेंट रिटन बाय केकन एंड टारविश सो द फर्स्ट बुक इज द ऑपरेशंस मैनेजमेंट and the second one is matching supply with demand and introduction to operations management that was also written by the kekin and tarvish so right now i am showing the fourth edition of matching supply with demand and introduction to operations management and this is the operations management the first edition so this is basically published in 2016 this is published in 2019 so let's first of all discuss the operations management so if you read both of these two books you will find out quite similar content and both are written very well especially for the business students uh, whether you are doing the bba or whether you are doing bcom or mcom or mba okay related to the business degree so these uh, two books are very good because in both of these two books they are trying to uh, give the understanding about what is operations what is operations management how you can identify the bottleneck operations in the entire process whether you are dealing with the manufacturing organization or whether you are dealing with the service organization okay and then how you can improve those processes using the toyota production system which is lean system and they also have discussed a little bit about the inventory perspective okay a brief overview with respect to inventory so let's first of all discuss the content of this operations management book so over here as i have mentioned so they have discussed in the first chapter about the uh, brief overview of what is operations what is operations management and then uh, giving you the understanding how we can understand the process of any particular organization whether we are dealing with manufacturing or service so in process analysis they start calculating uh, giving you the idea about how you can calculate the capacities uh, what is a cycle time okay and what is a utilization and then with this process analysis then it is going to talk about how you can improve it how you can analyze the process with respect to the multiple flow units okay and the learning curve of the resources is very important when you are going to improve the process and then in the chapter 7 they are going to talk about if there is a setup cost okay um, what will happen how the capacity is going to affect and it is going also discuss some lean tools as well such as smed single minute exchange of tie and then in chapter 8 it is going to talk about and the toyota production system which is lean operations and then quality right so till now over here we are basically mainly dealing with uh, what is process or uh, how you can analyze that process how you can um, uh, measure it how you can control it how you can improve it and then from chapter 10 to onward it is going to uh, touching with the inventory and the supply chain angle so like uh, what is inventory management then what is supply chain overview and then uh, you are they are going to discuss uh, in a steady demand inventory management in a for a perishable goods uh, demand as well as forecasting and then uh, with some uncertainties right uh, as well and then they are going to talk about some service system okay and at the end they have discussed about a little bit project management and the product development perspective so excellent book with respect to uh, the understanding of the entire operational angle because usually uh, when we are talking about especially for the business students so they are not uh, you can say mainly talking about the material requirement planning or master production schedule so they mainly interested in to understand the organization processes how you can measure it how you can control it how you can improve it okay so this book is very good similarly the same uh, thing you will find out in these in this particular book and the next which i really like in these two books are they are mainly written based on the case study perspective so they have uh, started Uh, the books with the uh, different scenarios and then try to solve those scenarios as well 
so similar kind of content you will find out with this uh, particular book so both of two books are really good if you want to get the understanding about the core Mm, uh, operational concepts okay such as the bottleneck analysis such as the how you can improve it how you can control it how you can improve the processes so thank you so much see you in the next video